This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 15 of Diablo 4 on the Xbox Series X. We're kind of near where we were standing at the end of the last part, people. <coughs> all I've done off camera is I had a little play around with the jeweler. Uh, not like that, thank you. <laughs> I just got them to... I actually did it by mistake. I went on and I thought I was selecting a, a piece of kit to take a gem out of, but actually when I hit A it took it out automatically. But in the end I just took out a small gem for I took both of these out by mistake actually but I put the yellow one back in and I took a small crude sapphire out and put a, a slightly better one in which I can't remember the name of a, and obviously I've sold all of the kit that was in there as well since the last part <clears throat> I'm not sure why I decided to sell it instead of collapse it but there you are so that's given us a fair bit of coin actually we're now up to about 230,000 pounds now before we get cracking people we're going to crack on with the main quest uh, these are the only two items that I've hung on to actually uh, but we're not anywhere near a hoose so we're going to just keep them in our inventory for now uh, but I did stumble across this uh, occultist as well which we'll have a little look at but before we do that uh, there's a couple of comments that I thought I would just do on camera. Uh, the first one is from Timsky, who is telling me, and I think possibly King Ratfella told me a similar thing, a, <clears throat> basically to tell me to go into the gameplay settings in the main menu, uh, go to game, go to options, go to gameplay, and in here, now this must be to do with a comment that I said about comparisons. You can turn on advanced tooltip compare, an advanced tooltip information. Uh, and in doing that, you'll get more... Uh, you have unsaved changes. Are you sure you want to discard them? No, I don't. I want you to save them. <clears throat> and if we now go into our... I haven't tried this yet. So it's now giving us a more in-depth breakdown of what is going up and down in the comparison. Whereas I think before it was just showing us the, I think before it was just showing us the armor up and down rather than all the stats up and down. So now we're seeing the deductions and the increases of anything that we're about to change on everything. As well as just the item. And it'd be the same for, I haven't got any weapons to compare at the moment, but it'll be the same for the weapons and what have you. So that was a good one, so thanks for that. Uh, another tip from Trilogy suggested that we have rewards to claim people now this is something that i was i've asked the question a few times and if we hit y in this screen up at the top right there you can see claim rewards and it's got a big flashing light now that big flashing light i think has been on my i feel like it's been on my screen <laughs> at times and i've just kind of not known what it was about so if we hit y we've got a bunch of stuff in here and again, I haven't taken a look at this yet. I'm doing it for the first time with you guys. A region progress. Ah, here we go. So there's a bunch of stuff. So there's two tabs at the top. The first tab comes in here. It didn't seem to let me do anything. It's just a big set of stats. If we hit RT, we've then got two things to claim here. From things that we've done. Claimed by each character. And, all oh right, these symbols mean claim for each character, unlocks for all characters from the realm, requires unlocking World Tier 3. So, we've got a bonus XP and 3,000 gold to claim and a skill point. Nice. <clears throat> and we've got bonus XP plus 10,000 gold to claim and a, ooh, a potion capacity. Nice! Gives us an extra heal, people. I think. I think. Or we'll find out. Maybe not. Might be different potions. But anyway, I feel like it might be a, a heal thing. So, should we claim them? See what's what. A, I'm not sure... It says plus bonus XP, but it doesn't seem to say how much. It just says plus 3,000 gold underneath it. Let's find out. Well, we've got... At the moment, we're sitting... Let's just check. Our XP at the bottom left there. We're sitting on level 31, and we're just about to go into level 32. So, we'll see if it helps take us over to level 32. Let's do this. All claimed. All claimed. Marvellous. So we are getting 
uh, the, the things have been popping up on screen and I've been unsure as to what's been going on and that that's really helped me out so thanks for that trilogy my friend I think King Rat might have put that comment somewhere as well I've been I've been finding it hard to keep up with your comments uh, so far as I've not been doing them as they come in so I've been catching up uh, but loving the comments so keep them coming people if you see me doing anything I shouldn't or if you think anything think of anything that's going to help me out even more keep them coming people right okay so a bit of housekeeping there well and uh, advancing the game somewhat a uh, so we've got this third one in doesn't it does it actually say fractured peaks total renown earned 685 right so this is all based on way well things discovered i guess and side quests done and all that sort of thing so you just the more you do in each region and clear stuff out the more you'll unlock these things but 170 of 200 i think it's re some sort of renown points is it for doing them and it'll unlock these rewards in here i think let me know if i've got that completely wrong but i think that's what it is is it the o balls o balls <laughs> Anyway, we've got a skill point out of it, and not quite a level up, but we've got a uh, realm power collected. One skill point has been unlocked. Healing potion capacity has gone up. One for all characters. <clears throat> well, we might as well spend our point, people. It'd be rude not to. Now, this is, take, this is going to take me into a whole other realm of uh, <laughs> what the fuck am I spending it on. We did have a little note. I think I was just doing this at the tail end of the last part, actually. And I'd kind of felt like... Yeah, I was kind of keen on this trap mastery, was I? When poison trap or death trap activates, you gain 4% increased critical strike. Chance against vulnerable and crowd-controlled enemies. That's a lucky hit. Up to 10% chance to gain 8 energy. I think we need the other two before we can get those. Second wind. Adrenaline rush. While moving, you gain 5% increased energy regeneration. Actually, that's pretty decent, isn't it? Because, you know, I mean, I don't stand still particularly often. <laughs> Move around a fair bit. If you, if you run out of energy and you want to get on the move again. Because I do a bit of rolling around and a bit of running around... Aftermath. Use it after using ultimate skill. Restore twenty-five energy. Um, oh, also well, there was one down. Oh no, we need three points before we can use do these ones. What about the? Oh, that's imbuement. We don't want that. These are uh, these are the direct poison ones which we've already got. You deal six percent increased damage to healthy and injured enemies. Increased damage to healthy and injured enemies. So, all enemies then. <laughs> you deal 6% increased damage. Yeah, well, that's worth it, isn't it? Not sure if we only get this from those moves or whether it's just for everything. Uh, it also says healthy characters have more than 80% of their life. Injured characters have less than 35% of their life. Right, okay. So, it's anything over 80% gets another six percent damage and anything under 35 percent gets another six percent damage so that seems reasonable are we still using dash we are because i never invested the rest of the money and uh, the rest of the points in dash did i wonder if we should do that first actually because that's going to be Use that a fair bit. What are we getting, people? Next rank. Charge cooldown, 11.4. Damage goes up. Yeah, it goes up a fair bit. Another 26 damage. Let's do it. Yeah, it goes. It jumps up a fair bit of damage each time. Yeah, I'm going to get that done because it's uh, pretty awesome on that. I mean, you're in a bit of trouble and just want to slash through them. You can do it twice as well on the bounce. Okay. That's enough of that. Right, and the very finally, before we got on with the action, uh, yeah, I don't know if I've done an occultist before in any of the other episodes, but it seemed to be me just realising that I could do this. 
It's the first time I remember visiting an occultist anyway. If I've done it before, I've not twigged onto what they're doing. But basically, you can get uh, yellow or legendaries. Uh, and you can either, I think, take the power off them and use it in something else. Or, uh, yeah, an imprint, an aspect. I think it's called an aspect, I think, what you put on the... Uh, or is it Codex of Power? I don't know. The wording's getting me a bit confused. But basically, you can take the think the moves off of an item and put them onto another item, effectively. Uh, so if we were to pick that... I think all of the moves and stuff on it. I'm not sure which of this is which, though. Like, it says Codex of Power or Aspect from Inventory. And then preview it. But I don't know what I need for these sockets here. Ah, right. So it's another item maybe, yeah. So I think you can either put the moves onto a codex of power, which we don't have. Or you can put the moves directly onto something in your inventory, which we don't have at the moment. And then it would put them on it. I don't know how much that would cost because we don't have anything to try it out with. But that's quite cool because if you want to... If, you, if I picked up another legendary, for example, but I wanted to keep... The moves that were on the other item then i could switch it up like that and it's a bit unfortunate actually because i dumped two bows that i was or two daggers in fact and we could in theory have moved i, I kept not wanting to put them on even though they had more damage because i preferred the moves that were on the two daggers i've got but unfortunately i've uh, sealed them now i can't remember who to <laughs> so anyway we'll keep we'll bear it in mind i've no idea how expensive that gets or what what's this thing here Behold our Arida, Nefain, and Donan, enders of the days of Ash. Let their victory remind thee of the light we share between us. I may have read that before, but I can't remember. Right, so we've got on our map, people, we're going to be heading up to... Here. I think if memory serves me correctly, there's two... Yeah, there's two markers. We're going to go up to this one first. And we're on with the quest, in Encroaching Shadows. Oh, yeah, I forgot we had a bloody crossbow on. Oh, God, that's why I kept one of the bows. I forgot all about that. Oh, well. <laughs> it's gone now, Stephen. I could buy it back if I could remember who I sold all my stuff to. It's a good point, actually, because we could, in theory, have taken off whatever was on that crossbow. Uh, oh, no, the crossbow was a legendary. That's why I put it on. That's fine. Let's keep going. How do we, how do we get the hell out of here? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'd pass for a New Yorker, people. No problem at all. Ah, there's a storage in a house here. Looks, 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 looks. How do we get to it, though? <laughs> Let me in my house. Right. Completely missed that. Innkeeper. How's business? Oh, can't complain. Reckon that be a sin against the father. Hmm. How are things with the cathedral? Well enough. So long as Donan speaks for them. He knows the glen. And bled for it too. Cathedral's lucky to have him. We'll uh, leave it at that. Yeah, it's doing that thing where it doesn't stay in the conversation thing. I keep having to press it again. What do you know of this horned woman? Oi, I'll have none of that talking here, you get me? Folk are skittish enough as it is. Okay, seems reasonable. Well, I think we'll most definitely just bob this stuff into this uh, chest here. Store, store. Yeah, because that was claiming to be a little bit better, wasn't it? It kind of is. It is kind of better in everything. I think I didn't want to take the one I've got on off because of the dim dexterity, maybe? No, maybe not. Can't remember. Properties lost when equipped. Oh, there we go. So this is the bonus of the advanced thing. The advanced settings. So we'll lose cold resistance, control, impaired duration reduction, and plus nine dexterity. However, I feel like actually I'm getting more out of that. Oh, maybe it was that one we just put in the thing. Yeah, it might have been. 
Oh yeah, it was the total armor one. I was tempted by, I think. Three five two item of power. Yes, yeah, seemingly better than the one we're wearing. What have we got socketed into the one we're wearing? Looks like a purple. Damage taken over time reduction. Damage reduction when fortified. 3% healing received. Well, I think it's worth doing. That one or the other one, to be fair. <clears throat> Yeah, it's not quite as high in the armor front, but it's got that plus one percent total armor, uh, which I'm not sure the impact that'll have. Okay, let's give it a run out. Beer love. Our children drink it at supper. <laughs> right, yo. Right, let's get on with it. Also, yeah, King Ratfella's telling me that he didn't get the horse until Act 4. So if you're wondering where your bloody horse is at, with your steeds, apparently it's an Act 4 quest. So they obviously want you to sort of investigate this land on foot before you get the freedom of running around really which I'm kind of fine with because I feel like I, pr I probably would have got off my horse a lot anyway because I'd want to look in every sort of corner of the place so not a big deal for me yeah I don't think I'm going to get anywhere yeah. how do I get out there Got to ask them to get out. The lower city is closed to travelers. The father invites you to enjoy the city proper. Uh. Okay. How do I? Well, we could go from this direction, I suppose. What happens if I put a marker on it? Nothing. I mean, I guess this is the only reason why get not having your horse yet is a bit frustrating. Because <laughs> you go the wrong way and you can't go any other way. Kind of shafted, aren't you? Although there might have been a way around there right enough. A... Uh, yeah, it's possible, actually. Should we go that way and see what's what? See what we find up here. It's an uninvestigated area, anyway, so it will show us something. I'm sure we'll find some fighting. Oop, steady. You. Nice. Well, that went better than expected. I haven't actually touched the game in a few days. 
Oh yeah, got five of five heals now. Thanks to our reward. Bandits. Catch the treasure goblin for God's sake. Out of energy. Nice. Well, we'll certainly take a bit of that action, people. It's going to be dropping stuff on us. <laughs> Only just put that armor on, and now this is better. Marksman skill damage, lightning resistance, poison resistance, and two empty sockets. Blimey. Boots. Well, we've got legendary boots on, so I don't really want to change those just now. And we've got ourselves a rumbling choker. Got a legendary choker on as well, though. Plus one rank to, of all agility skills. Mm. Plus 1.5% total armor is lost. We take that off. Well, armor was one nine eight nine. Yeah, it's better with the new one on. Seems reasonable. Onward. Fuck happened to me, trap. I'm low on energy.
Ooh, piercer. Sounds like a dagger. Beckett Hellfire. It's got 105 more damage than the first dagger of comparing it to. Well... Ooh. Yeah, the damage per hit is a lot higher. Can't really ignore that. Plus 10% basic skill damage. It's a bit harsh losing that. Get plus 19 dexterity on this new one, though. Damage to stunned. Vulnerable damage. Uh, yeah. No socket in that one, though, is there? I more time. Ow. Well, that chip ruby could go on that piece of armour we put on. Well, it does look like there's a path around this way, doesn't A on armor, it will give us 2.5% maximum life. Nah, it's not really that great, is it? Oh. <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, for fuck's sake, walked all that way and I can't get past. Well, that'll take us down to the way that we were trying to get in in the first place. Brace dig. Ah, waypoint. Uh, excuse me. Level up and ride your pony. I'm not sure when that kicked in. <laughs> Would have been at some point during the fighting, I'm sure. But uh, we've got to, we've got to level up, people. So let's get our dash leveled up once more. So that's going to take the damage of dash up to 202 from 165. Also, charge cooldown as well. 10.8 seconds. Well, we've got two more we can get on there at the minute. Next one's going to take us up to 218 damage. Well, that's all good and well, apart from I can't use a horse yet. Progress the campaign and complete Mount Donan's Favour to gain access to Mount. Well, there is a Voltaire. 
You seem sad, old man. I think I'm too old to experience such darkness again. Or perhaps it is because I am old that I must. How can I ease your sorrow? My family, they live in Korbach, over in the Strand. Things there are dire. And not enough food to go around. I came here thinking to earn some coin. Maybe send some food back to them. But I can't afford to leave work long enough to visit them. And I don't make enough to move them here. Oh. Would you have it in you to take this to my son, Targ? I know he and the others need it more than I. Worry not. I will take care of it. Well, it seems reasonable. The Starving Strand. Oh, <laughs> I didn't actually read that that was a healer. Talismans, candles and carvings decorate this central totem. The woody, almost sweet smell of burning pine hangs in the air. It seems commitment to the old ways is strong with this one. <laughs> well, I used poetic license at the end there. Wood will bend like grass in the wind when the spirits arrive. Physical barriers alone will not be enough. And your talismans and dirt A vendor of hoods and arm pieces and boots. I think we're doing pretty well without her, really. Keep your guard. The Knights Penitent think they understand what's out there. Think they're lights enough to face it. They're in for a shock. Well, it seems that we do need a repair, apparently. We must have died at some point, eh? It's a dangerous world. Come, make it less so. Well... Hard bargain. See what they're saying. Chieftain Asgale. You picked a fine time to visit Breistag, Wanderer. The whetstones are singing. Hearts are pounding. Sweet music for a red day. Donan sent me. <laughs> At least you're not another night penitent. At least. It is us who will protect this village with our lives. Let it be. <laughs> there is an ominous fog uphill. Mad spirits emerge from it. They'll be here shortly. Are you here to help us ward them off? I seek a demon who passed through. <sighs> so, that's what it was. <sighs> well, this day keeps getting better, doesn't it? The demon went uphill to Eredas domain. But unless you want to join the spirits, I wouldn't go there. It's best you stay with us. I can lead you to Erida. Out of the question. I'll be safe. Donan puts his trust in this traveler. So shall we all. Tell me when you're ready to move. Mind what lurks in the fog, and return as soon as you can. Donan will have my head if anything happens to you. 
well, would it be rude to not pick up this quest here? A hastily painted protection ward guards the door of this home. Despite the thick stone facade, the faint cries of a newborn can be still heard. Merin? Do you need aid? Aye. A thief named Darcel snuck in with the knights posing as muscle. Took something of mine. A bairn was born healthy a fortnight ago. Praise the glow and fire. But the mother is weak. Darcel stole the runic charm I placed to heal her. Bastard probably just wanted quick coin. He may have condemned both mother and child. Deal with him and bring the charm back. I'm very, very impressed with the Scottish in this game. <laughs> Not both with the accent and also with the actual words that they're using in the Scottish sentences, like bairn instead of child and stuff. Super. It's all the little things, people. The amount of times American companies and games get it so wrong <laughs> with Irish and Scottish is unbelievable. Hey, Yoren, what are you seeing? Tell me about Arada. She's a legend. One of the druids who fought alongside my father to defeat Astaroth. I was raised on stories of her wisdom and courage. Let's go. The roads are thick with fog, so the fastest route to the hills is east, through the Weeping Cairns. Well, that sounds awesome. Nothing bad can happen in the Weeping Cairns, I'm sure. All right, my friend, let's do this. Uh, oh, hello. Let me to do that. Ah, I've got an, oh, I've got a reward to claim. That's why it came down here. Uh, bonus XP and three thousand gold and a skill point. Fucking have it. I, I think these are clocking up, maybe because I'm doing the progressing the story. I, I don't know. Not actually sure. Anyway. <laughs> it's these points, definitely. We've got zero of 300 now, by the looks of it. Whatever these points are, we're, we're, we're making points, people. So that means we've got another ability point. Stick that on dash straight away. Nearly maxed it out. One more on dash, and then we'll be on to our passives, people. Well, we're heading this way. Oh, well, he said east. I suppose it is. God, als dan rechts. Never eat shredded wheat, people. That's how we remember. In the world. Hope I can do the same one day. What's holding you back? My father. You've seen how he is. I need to persuade him just to let me leave the bloody keep. Hmm. Got a few things going on in this section, haven't we? Oh, that was the other thing as well. Yes, yes, yes. There was a quest in one of the other parts where I kept saying, there's the game bugged out on me. I can't find this uh, place to the shrine to pray at or whatever it is, give thanks. Uh, and somebody, and I think it was King Ratfella and somebody else, spot, uh, well, pointed out the obvious, basically, and said, uh, maybe just use the emote, Steve? to give blessings so we need to go back to that location at some point we've still got the little quest in our in our list to do so we will go back and do that if i can actually remember how to do emotes of course which i <laughs> i'm not ready yet I did, I did not mean to do that that never seems to stay up as long as that in fights does it i assume it triggers once you uh once something goes into it though Yeah, up on the D-pad. And then... There. Thanks. Or whatever. Oh, 
Yeah, I think maybe I should stop picking up whites now. But anyway, keep saying it and never do it. Little look off the beaten path, maybe. I need more time. Starting to enjoy that little dash move, you can probably tell. <laughs> now it's got more power in it. Ooh, shiny. That's the entrance to the cairns ahead. Wait, why is the passage blocked? I don't know. It's sealed. There's writing. They look like old druid runes. The Song of Wind. The House Bell. <laughs> oh, no. They're coming. Hurry. All right. E a le. E a le du gro ani dolano. It's one of these. Got to hold them off. It's a chant. The chant will open the way. Light, protect us. Hold them off. Hold. Marvelous. It worked. Something's rousing the spirits from their rest. We should make haste within. Yeah, think. Nice. Eighteen thousand XP. Exhuming the forgotten. Yorn is now following you, Yorin, I should say. <laughs> I 
This is the day after the Xbox showcase of 2023, people, which went down a bit of a treat with everybody. However, much as though I, mean, I don't think Starfield is going to be for me, I'm not one for the futuristic um, in general terms. You never know; it might persuade me. But it does look—it does look rather superb, has to be said. But sadly, no 60 FPS mode on console. Yeah. Series X and Series S both 30 FPS. So I think I'll be holding off on that one until I have a second lifetime because <laughs> it's so big uh, or until I retire where I've got like all the time in the world, <laughs> you know, in about 20 years time. <laughs> what lurks in this place? It's just how my father described it. You've never been here? Only through the stories he told. Though none. Erida would not have barred the path of the dead like this. The spirits should be free to roam within the earth. Lilith. Strange. The door is locked with an earthen seal. What was it my father said about this? Wardstones, that's it. If you bring me one from the nearby cairns, I think I can open the way. Do this, do that, I don't know, eh? Time to do that. I need time to do that. Another bone charm. I need time to do that. Which way to go, people? Which way to go?
time to do this. Wardstone, whoop whoop. <laughs> the fucking size of it on my back. Uh, this is not coming in large. Well, we could take one back, I suppose. I suspect there's going to be another one to find. I don't know if we can carry two at a time. It's fucking huge. Look at the size of it. Oh. <laughs> I think I was running around back, back to him. Silly boy. How do you know so much about the druids? Father always respected their beliefs and customs. It was important that I grew to understand his admiration. Whenever he talked about coming here to meet Erida, I saw a light in his eyes that rivaled any fire. The two were close, though... I think time has seen them drift apart. Was your mother a druid? No, but this was her land. She was something of a scholar, preserved local customs and rituals. She passed when I was young, and, well, most of what I know about her is through her writings. Hey, all right. Yeah, I had a feeling we might need another one. That did it. Oh, good. There was only one missing. It's a start, at least. <laughs> Demonic markings. Lilith's been here. Something's written on the altar. By stone and root, by tears and pain, we bear this flame that must remain. Dead eyes stained with ash and ember, cursed are we who must remember. Ah, an elegy written by Eretha. This, this is a memorial to all who died fighting Astaroth. The weak perish. We we are not your enemy. There we go. Low on energy. I need more time. Fucking hell. Steady. Lilith. She must be bending these heroes to her will. Erida would never stand for it. Unless. Oh. Something has happened to her. 
We don't know that yet. Come on. Hmm, doesn't let me do anything with that. It looks like it should be something we can listen to, but I can't pick it up. Maybe it's the, the one that he read out. Yeah, maybe not. Fuck's sake, <laughs> dodged out of one into another. I can't believe I dashed right into that. Well, we did get some pickups there, people. Yellow. It's all yellow. Two armor, well, the gloves. Mm, plus two armor, well the gloves, plus two ranks of rapid fire, uh, which we don't use, I don't think. We're getting more dexterity, more critical chance and more lucky hits, but we're losing attack speed, ranks for rapid fire and more power. I think I could put those on actually. extra damage but it's not got the critical chance perk that the legendary's got. Plus two oh we've got plus two ranks of poison trap on those legendaries yeah. We do have socket free don't we too in fact on the armor. Seven percent damage reduction while Control impaired. Three percent barrier generation and maximum life. Why not, eh? Probably pick up a bloody legendary outfit now. must be the cairn of the elders. So much defiled. Demonic scars upon their grave and druid runes to rouse the dead.
really. These runes. The delicate touch. This is Erida's work. Why would you be aligned with the demon? I've seen others fall under Lilith's control. Erida was sworn to keep the dead at peace. What do we do? We'll need to stop her. Uh, right. Solutions are found ahead, not behind, as Father says. Or something like that, my friend, yeah. What would the ancients think of me? My people are forgetting the old ways, growing weaker. They look to the cathedral for safety and protection, even for faith. And yet here I remain in the shadows, watching it all slip away. Enter the Ancestor Heights. <laughs> nice. You see how all that rope started moving around? As you, that's jitted out a bit, but it was quite cool how that all happened. Harold Lament. That doesn't bode well. That was one of the revered dead from the Cairns. Returned to the worms. May they find rest. Arlo. Did you think we'd so easily join the dead, lad? How did you find your way up here? Through the cairns. Through them? Mighty brave of you. And mighty foolish. What happened here? Erida came through with a horned woman. Not her normal company, to be sure. Ah. Lilith. They headed towards Solitude, the top of the hill. The sound of Erida's Talharpa carried with the wind. And then, this madness began. If your aim is to follow them, you won't get far with all this fog. It seems to be drawn to the risen remains. We spotted others in the hills before this one tore from the earth. I'll stay here and protect these two. The fog is too near to leave them undefended. Well, it's like that, is it? I remember when you were still up. I'm staying, Arlo. Stubborn like your father. That will keep you alive. Find and destroy the risen remains. Why do you stay here? Much safer than stumbling through all this fog. These huts are more than just stone. My ancestors blessed them to ward off storm and spirit alike. When the wicked wind starts to moan, best to shelter in the safety of stone. <sighs> right you are, lass. Where is everyone? I told them to stay put, but they all fled when the fog crept in. I'm sure they're safe. They know these hills better than anyone. 
but fear has a way of making the wise into fools. How do you know Yorin? I'm a friend of his father. Met him in the days of Ash. Saved his life, actually. <laughs> if you asked him, he'd probably claim he saved mine. Hasn't come up this way in a long while, but he used to. Now and then I'd even go and share a pint with him in his fancy house. <laughs> That's how I came to know Yorin. Well... We've got a big area up here to be searching. We've got to clear those two things there. And oh, we're also still quite close to that stolen artifact. We feel like I've gone miles, but we haven't, have we? Because we, we had to go the long way around from that town that we were in, which was here. Breesteg. Oh, no. Hang on, wait. Kerrigar, yeah. Kerrigar was the one that wouldn't let us... Yeah, wouldn't let us go through. So we had to go the long way around. Yeah, because that uh, braised egg is where we got that quest. Isn't it? It's all coming back to me now, people. Well, a uh, not overly sure how long the rest of that little quest is going to take us. Uh, looks like we're going to go through. Uh, no, maybe not. Erida came for a visit. Dad gave her salt and water. She thanked him, then went on her way. I wanted to go with, help her sing to the dead, but Dad didn't let me. Said that we share the hills with the druid, but her work is not our work. Looks, yeah, okay, here's the way through here. That away. Right, well, I think as we don't know how long that next bit's going to be and we're already over the hour mark, people, I think I'm going to wrap it up there for that part. We're about an hour and ten minutes as it is. And we shall kick into this part at the beginning of the next part. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, I think... Uh, that's a sword. Don't need to use that. So, yeah, our inventory's pretty clear. We've got plenty of room to be picking up more stuff. Still cracking on nicely and we're only a spit away from level 33, people. Superb, and we got a couple of extra points to spend, which doesn't go onto your level ups, but you get a couple of extra points to spend in the trees. Helped us get, it's helped us get dash sorted out, hasn't it? We've only got one point to spend in dash, and that's it full with 239 damage as you go through the enemies. And the cooldown is now under nine seconds as well. Nice. Pretty chuffed for that, people. There you go. It has been an honour and a privilege. Actually, hang on a minute before I finish that off. I think, I think we can go through there as it happens. <laughs> Rather than go all the way around the way I was going. Shall we start saying cheerio again, shall I? There you go, folks. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Diablo 4 on the Xbox Series X. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.